So today was day one of London Comic Con for me, but today in general, freaking sucked. Okay, so my day started off me getting up real early to do a commission piece for someone because they're wearing a cosplay this weekend and they wanted me to make their accessories. And did I procrastinate like a motherfucker? I sure did because I decided to do it this morning and it turns out I made the wrong piece. So now I have to come home after a long ass day and start making the actual correct pieces. But before all that, I went to the con this morning to set up and after setting up, my table buddy was like, I have to go to work and pick up my phone charger because I think I left it there. And then I was like, oh, okay. So that's gonna take uh, a few hours of my time. But then he was all like, I also need to go to the dollar store and pick up a few more things. So then I had to stay there until he got back because I'm super paranoid of my things being stolen. And on top of that, I couldn't even cosplay because, oh, here's a kicker. I had to work today. Yeah, I only stayed at the con for maybe like an hour and then I had to leave and go get ready for work. Oh my God. And then, not only that happened, my back started effing up like in the middle of the day, so by now, it's way worse. But my night doesn't stop there. After I finish those commission pieces for someone for tomorrow, I have to finish working on Harley Quinn because I really want to wear her this weekend and I'm missing like little itty bitty things I need to work on. Yeah, like the belt and my cape, just like the hook and eye, which I haven't done yet. And then, what else do I have to do? Oh, right. I have to work on last minute uh, inventory stuff for tomorrow because I ran out of supplies. So I had to go out today and go get them because all week I had to work at my two jobs all day and the only place I can get stuff is near one of my jobs, but I couldn't do that because of my scheduling. So, uh, pulls hair. And the good news is I only made $42, which is fine. I mean, the first day of a uh, con weekend to me, because I understand the fact like Friday is usually like, I'm gonna browse today, unless it's the only day I'm going. But uh, I think that's why no one really uh, bought anything. Uh, I did so well at Forest City Con Con after switching everything around that I really wanted to do. And I'm hoping to do a lot more uh, Saturday and hoping to get a lot of feedback of what people want me to sell. So anyways, I'm gonna go and get ready for my crafting section because I'm gonna be at this for hours and I have coffee to keep me up and as you can tell, I'm really tired because I'm doing all these things in different angles. Hey guys, whoa, that was terrible. Oh, welcome back. Um, it is the second day of London Comic Con and I'm freaking tired. I'm, I'm not gonna lie with you. I finished everything by 4.30 this morning and I've only had four hours of sleep, maybe three and a half hours of sleep. My back is killing me. And I got a cosplay today and work at my table. So I finished uh, these little clips here for someone because they were cosplaying as Junko. I finished all the cat collars I was doing for my tables. So I even forgot this. These were pre-made and I forgot them. So I got to bring my candy corn uh, cat collars. And now I am working on the last minute touches of my Harley Quinn belt. Um, I had to take a break last night from sewing. I lost one of my hook and eyes. And yeah, so I'm gonna finish that. And then you're gonna see me next as Harley, either here or at the con, not sure. So stay tuned in a couple seconds. Hey guys, it's Nikki Moma here. We are at day two at London Comic Con. I'm at my booth and my partner is missing, apparently. And we are 
about two hours into the con and I made a few sales. So uh, we're gonna talk walk the, the, the. we're gonna walk around later on once my table buddy gets here because I really wanna see what's going on and I wanna see some friends. So I'll see you in a bit. I am really cold and I didn't show any uh, walking footage and like how the con looked and whatnot. Um, I had a little cosplay malfunction where my uh, leggings were falling down so I had to constantly hold them up and I didn't have scissors at the time to put double sided tape but they're better now but my con buddy has left my table just to go look around for a bit. I'm gonna leave a little bit early. I'm really exhausted after working on so much crap last night and I'm going to like a little Halloween party later on so yeah. Um, this was day two, and day two was awesome. Everyone loved my Harley Quinn look. Everyone was shocked to see this version. Uh, then in, you know, the other versions they've been seeing, like the Suicide Squad version, um, and like the movie, and the regular black and red Harley Quinn. So day two is officially almost over. I'm just going to be sitting at my booth and wear Trevor's, like, sweater. Um, the con's already died down, so a lot of people are already leaving, even though this con is running for another hour. Hence why I'm going to leave early. Get ready for day three, as I am Autumn Poison Ivy. Today's the last day of London Comic Con, and my con buddy is finally here. And not hungover. And not hungover, like he was yesterday. And he was late. Tequila, mistakes, don't do it. <laughs> yep. And that is it. <laughs> I'm so sorry guys. I really forgot honestly to record uh, what was going on at the con. There was a lot of things going on at the con. Uh, nothing like too crazy to record or be like, woo. Essentially I walked around a couple of times. I was very cold. Let's, let's be honest here. The con location was freaking cold and I was in my Autumn Ivy cosplay and my Harley Quinn, so I froze. Uh, I camped a lot at my booth for the first time in a long time, and I essentially just had a sweater and I was just keeping myself warm. So now I'm home and I had so much fun. I met so many new people. I saw former clients of mine who have previously bought my stuff over the years since I've had a booth running at. London and Forest City Comic Con. And after talking to a few clients, I have been more determined to create more products that I want to lean towards since they never really see a lot of it. And I'm so excited to show you guys in the future. I will be doing a video of products I am gonna be making and what I will be putting up in my store. So to end this video, I am going to show you my haul it's very small, trust me. I try not to spend a lot of my money or my store money. I'm trying to save up money for future products I want to create for my store, so yeah. And I paid Trevor, which is my table buddy that I do every year, uh, cause I owe him for what he paid for my table and I paid like 70% of it, so I owe him like $50 to make up for it. 
Okay, so the first item I'm going to show you is this really, really beautiful picture. I barely see this art at cons since it's died down over the years. And that is this beautiful Moon Moxie print because I cosplayed her and I love how it's like kind of a, of a flyer for like a concert or a grand opening, but this is so freaking pretty and I'm glad I found this and bought it. This was $15. Um, I guess the artist is somewhere, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where the artist is, to be honest. I should have grabbed a card, but amazing. I've been looking for a really good Mad Moxie print, and the fact that I found Moon Moxie is even better. Another thing I picked up, I was so ecstatic about this product, and they didn't have this on the first day. They had the Moon Moxie picture on the first day, but they didn't have this product until I came over today and saw it. So it is this keychain, but also works as a gun. It's a Mad Moxie little gun, and I love it. It's a Nerf gun, so I can easily pump it up and put a Nerf uh, pellet in there, but oh my god. This was like uh, 20, 20, I think it was 20, yeah, it was 20, $25. Since I really wanted the Moon Moxie print and this because I cosplayed it, and I showed them proof that I did. I was able to get this for 35 instead of 40, I think. Yeah, $40. $5, I saved, I don't care, but I really love this. <laughs> and the last thing I got at the con is a really awesome print, which is the same person who did this print because it's very, very beautiful. I love this print. I was so in love with this print when I saw it. She was my table neighbor last year at London Comic Con and I've been watching her work for over the years. I didn't buy this. I was actually given to and it is this beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. I love everything pink. This is, it's, look. I will post a link of her work down below in the description box. Check her out, guys. She does live streams of her art. I watched this one stream where she did this beautiful picture of this girl like sitting on a donut and she's kind of topless but her but her titties were covered and that was for someone else it was a commission piece but I loved it so she might try to print it for me and because I really really like it um so anyways that is it uh for this short London Comic Con vlog I hope you guys liked how I ranted about how stressed I was I hope you guys enjoyed my pain and suffering physically and mentally throughout this con. And I hope you guys like my little Snapchat videos of my Harley Quinn and the Poison Ivy that I showed you earlier. And if you guys want to, subscribe to my channel. I do all types of vlogs for cons I do go to throughout the year. I'm sorry, my wig keeps getting to my eyes. It is. I gotta comb it. I do a lot of vlogs over the years uh, of my experiences and costumes and exciting content that they featured there. And if you enjoyed this video, please give this a nice like. I love doing videos such as these and showing you the fun I have and all my little rants. As much as some of my rants could be a little, a little too much, I do enjoy it. It makes me feel better about my day. So now, I'm gonna go pick up my son. I'm gonna go, t well, I'm gonna take off this costume first and then go pick up my son and then start making dinner. So I will see you all in my next video and thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.